Well, let's talk about pneumothorax and hemothorax. So pneumothorax, I put in blue, pneumo is air in the thorax. So this is going to be air in the pleural cavity around the lung. Let's talk about the pleural cavity real quick. Here you have a lung, and here you have another lung, and these are each in a sac. Just like every, almost every organ it is in, its, in a sac. And it's called the pleural cavity, so you can see it lines the lung very tightly. It needs to be a tight fit so that whenever the diaphragm opens up the pleural cavity, the lungs stick to it and it opens up. And so you'll see this lining, okay? Now, there is a lining around the left lung and a lining around the right lung, and they, are, they should be separate. So pneumothorax's air gets into between the lung and the pleural cavity. And the problem with this is, is now it does two things. One, it'll take up uh, some of the space in which the lung would occupy. So the lung is unable to now occupy and fill up completely. And also, it, is not, it doesn't expand quite like normal. Okay? When, when, you, when you have it sucking to pull the lung apart, it's not able to grab a hold of the lung very well. Hemothorax is when that cavity, instead of being filled with air, is filled with blood. And you got the same problem there. So, what are some causes? If you have uh, trauma to the chest, you get stabbed in the chest, and there's an opening, either air can go into the opening or blood can leak in. Patients that have a chest tube, uh, that include, because a chest tube is going to be going into that pleural cavity and that's where it would be sucking out fluids um, and the problem is if that occludes either air can back up in there or blood can back up in there. COPD uh, because the damage of the lungs going to be damaged and it may develop a little opening uh, that air can escape from for example um, and in pneumothorax sometimes it's spontaneous uh, it's actually seen a lot with young men in their 20s and there's something called a bleb, which is they'll develop these uh, little openings, almost like a COPD, little openings uh, in the lung that allow air to escape. So what are signs and symptoms for pneumothorax and hemothorax? Well, the same problems going on is you have that space being used up and the lung can't expand. You're going to have decreased breath sounds. If I listen on this side, there's no problem. I'll hear the lung sounds all the way through all the lobes. When I come to this side, I may not hear any lung sounds at all because there's air or blood blocking those air sounds. So you're not going to hear breath sounds, and that's a, a telltale sign. Their oxygen saturations are going to drop because they're not able to fully use the lung. And because of that, the heart rate is going to increase and the lung rate, the respiratory rate, are going to increase to compensate. And you may see an asymmetrical chest movement because this side might be expanding like normal, but this side may not be able to expand so much. Now, uh, one different way you can tell the difference is when I'm knocking, doing percussion on the, on the lungs, if there's air, you're going to hear uh, an echo, whereas if it's blood, it's going to be very, um, very dull because it's going to be a liquid. So diagnosis is they'll do a chest x-ray, okay, and they'll see that there's either an air pocket or a blood pocket there. So treatment for uh, pneumothorax and hemothorax. You want to give them oxygen so that whatever lung spaces are being used can work as best as it can. They may need a breathing treatment, uh, which would be albuterol or some other inhalers or nebulizers. Uh, now the actual treatment here, the big deal is going to need to put a chest tube in. If it was due to a bad chest tube, you just need to check your chest tube placement and make sure it's working correctly. Otherwise, they'll put a chest tube in here and they're going to suck out all the blood and all the air uh, so that it will get rid of that extra cavity, that space. Uh, in another video, I'll talk about chest tube uh, and chest tube systems and maintaining those. And if it's due to a bleb, they can do a blebectomy, which is surgically go in, um, whether it's laparoscopically or endoscopically, and they'll go in and they'll basically seal off the blebs. So that is pneumothorax and hemothorax. And remember, the big deal here is you'll have a decreased uh, breath sounds.